will then be introduced to a, to a few people over there, uh, and then we'll they'll go on to the boat, and they'll be on the boat for about 10 or 15 minutes, 10, 10, 10 15 minutes. Um, some of the groups who are presenting or talking to him, uh, or we hope we'll talk to him, have, have been already briefed. Um, he will then come off the boat uh, and back into here and talk to another couple of groups, the lengthsman over there and the sales and marketing team in the corner. And then about 20 past 11, the, uh, the presentation event will take place. So um, between now and then, um, and the, the teams who are actually presenting or going to talk um, might wish to go off and just have a think about what they're going to say. Might be quite helpful. Uh, so I mean, I just basically agree with myself who's going to say what, and uh, and just take it and be as spontaneous as you can and just enjoy it. I think so. Uh, I mean, just to add to that, Martin, I mean, the whole purpose of this is that the Duke wants to meet the volunteers yeah. because the, trope, the award is being given to the volunteers and he wants to hear about what we've done and what we've achieved and obviously the photographs will help, but please tell him what you've done for the canal and that's really what he's interested in seeing. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. On Thank you. 
And then, uh, and then I met my husband, who did start working for us. He's just walking to the ship because he had a great time. Um, and uh, he, he started working for us in 1961. He was rescued before the pioneers. The working rally. And uh, we've been tied up with And that's very important to us. Yeah, it's a a boat like this, yeah. this takes visitors. This is, yes. a, this is a tribute boat. Yes. Yes. Perhaps yes. you'd like to meet yes. them. These, uh, are the, these are the people who run the boat. Yes. Actually, Dick King is the chairman of the, our boat company. Welcome on board. So uh, I'm sure Dick is you your boat. in charge of driving this boat? Right? Uh, one of the skippers, yes. Um, and the, some of my other functions are sort of management. Basically, the John Pinkerton started um, 11 years after they started the story. Yeah. Yeah. We started with the first boat, John Pinkerton, um, and then in 1991 the canal was reopened, as I think you probably remember. Yes, it was. There's the proof. She serves for our 36 years. Um, well, well, actually, it's actually the previous one. A bit more yes. state, um, a bit more convenient, and better spacious for the passengers and the crew. But it appears to be all standing, is it? Or we've got no, no, we no, have seats. seats. <laughs> um, they're all uh, movable seats. Oh, well, I see. So, although we can do dances, um, <laughs> <laughs> we generally have to sit sitting down. Uh, she was launched in 2013. That was the name of the ceremony. She was a personality, Sally Taylor. She was the name of the ceremony. She and this is a small boat we've got, which we have in Woking, um, called Kitty, and that's been operating. It's only 12 passengers, and here's the gentleman that runs Kitty. It's quite big. We carry 50 in maximum. This is 68 feet long and 10 feet wide. How far do we go? It's only about a mile, mile and a half, two miles. No, that's all. For each trip, as well. Only plain boat. It was worn to where the wind went. And you get them in the water. There's plenty of chance to make some extra revenue from the game. It's a lovely thing. Yeah, it's uh, Steve James, I'm the treasurer. Um, obviously, the whole point of the boat was to generate funds for the upkeep of the canal. So we usually make a profit of about four to five thousand pounds a year. So since we've been operating, we've nearly reached nine hundred thousand. So uh, I'm looking forward to celebrating that milestone. But the, the main point of the whole exercise was to give people the experience of actually going on the canal once it was restored. So the original John Pinkerton that you were on set that, and then we bought this new boat, which is great. Stand up right, whereas the other one couldn't. And um, with 50 people on here, it's, it's a nice atmosphere. Um, so, uh, so we, we really, the two aims is to provide some money for the upkeep of the canal, which of course is very expensive. But it's a lovely 37 mile linear park. So, why would you keep it? No movement. Some of our passengers are quite concerned about will it move and then no, don't worry about that. And if it's worried about being seasick, yeah. <laughs> can help it. Carol Richards, Carol Leslie, the whole skipper's on the it would be so clear, John, because it's so much damage. We'd beg for trips. So, as we're all volunteers and we all do other things, so we work when we can. Some do more than others. And Cheryl's one of our uh, multiple trippers, aren't you? Yeah. 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 Just go back on the front of 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 the front
All of whom do about four trips a month for the season. Start to the east of the finish at the beginning of October. And basically, I administer the training. We do all the training in house. I administer the training and with a small team instruct as well. With a, with a view, obviously, to ensuring the crew are as efficient as possible because the safety of the passengers is and presumably, I mean, are there quite a number of boats that you really There are, uh, I think, about four trip boats. Um, there's a John Pinkerton here. There's a little boat called Rosebud, which is just the other side of the patrol boat there, which is a 12-seater. Ian Moore will tell you about Kitty in a minute, sir. And um, there is also a charity called Accessible Boating, which is based in Asia, where we are, uh, which specialises in trips for disabled people. It has ramps, as does Kitty, in fact, ramps, so it has wheelchair access. We don't have wheelchair access here, but as long as they can get down the stairs, we'll take it. Don't trick here, Bill. Ian's responsible for this little boat. Kitty's named after one of the canal horses. It's just, it's just such a problem. Uh, it's just such a problem. 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 It's just such uh, for an hour and a quarter, so we go from working town centre to the peace garden. The canal is old, it's a very very old brand, it's a great deal of the show. The brand is real, it's a real brand. It's a great deal of the show. It's a great deal of the show. Not many people, if you're aware of it, are invoking and people in this country have to take care of it. And this year, it's one of the two people who are very David Hallwood, he handles all the bookings on the boat. It's a very important job because it's not just the one that comes in, but it's all got to be organised. <laughs> Well, we run a schedule um, during the weekend in the summertime. The youngest Josh Lewis is about 10 days old, and my oldest is 101. So we came to the morning after the next and evening trips. Uh, uh, you want to make it through. A lot of people come along with something different, so we don't have to this is Tim Dodwell, um, we just met his wife. Um, uh, you already spoke to my wife. You bring them up and say, and, and they, they charge you to go to the Then they come back and then we arrange something that we've been living for the last couple of years. It's a cruel luck to have a couple of years. There's anything left to see. It's a rule with it. We decided we would be sure 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 we would be
Well, we do all sorts of stuff in the district in the towpath. That, that's where we're doing the art is that we're working in the main But we also do some major construction projects as well. We uh, have this big library in the 70s. And then it was a new building. Yeah. Um, it was actually repairing the most of the Yes, it was a bit beyond the call of duty, and we're working in a snowstorm. But this is where we're actually working with the mountains. It's divided into the mountains. It was originally commercial, and we've actually lowered it. Or we have one of the themed such as Chad's name. Over the years, we get special names. We have a scrap machine, concrete and brick lane, and you know, and the higher equipment for it. So we're very busy from the start on Good Friday. We have a couple of trips to I'm an artist based to meet you. I do lots of mixed with concrete and I'm always out every other weekend. I'm going to do it. 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 Oh, no, no. I, I just do the work with parts. There's so much to do. Um, and I, I like you know, the work with parts of the outside and the hard work. And, and it's not quite so pleasant for the weekend. No, there isn't. As you can see on the photographs, I work everywhere. Brian Smith has been volunteering on the canal longer than I can remember. Um, a lot of your volunteers are trying to do things like dig a drive and dump a drive for a while, giant saws. Um, and like I say, we basically uh, tackle a wide range of skills. Um, we've got a, a hardcore about 10, I suppose, that come along there. Um, and we're working along with 32 We've got a, a fleet of bowers and labels for a uh, plant of our own. Yeah, this is actually one of our boats here, which is named after one of our benefactors. And we were putting a new wharf in here, um, so we actually do the lane as well. It's a one more volunteer, which is Duncan Payne. Duncan does everything. I don't know. He's one of these casual trades. Well, I come out on the work party. I join in the John Pinkerton crewing and maintenance work and things. Yeah, I'm not going to go into these, these were where uh, we had the landslip and we uh, chopped up the trees that, that had uh, come down on the landslip and we sold it the logs to make more money. <laughs> so, uh, yes, we, we cut it up, put it onto the boat, which you can see there, and uh, took it uh, down to the uh, a wharf and then sold it to the public. Oh, uh, well, yes, King John. King John's Castle is an odium and it's a ruin because being King John is 800 years old and it's, it's, it's reputed that he was there before he went to run him to sign the Magna Carta and he used to use it as a I mean he used to travel between Windsor and uh, Winchester uh, hunting I mean he, he stopped in Odium to do some hunting and he built a castle and that's still there so it's quite historic and we had celebrations uh, in 2015 for Magna Carta I put my hand to anything. <laughs> yeah, there's anything he's doing, I always call them. <laughs> and this little boat at the front here is a patrol boat. So they, they patrol the canal and they make sure that people have paid their license. Uh, well, volunteer crews, yes. Yeah. Volunteer crews, yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It is, isn't it? It's, it's, it's lovely, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very nice day, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. I, was, I was just, just reading last night uh, where the cenotaph is. Yeah, there are plane trains. And, and 20, 30 years ago, those plane trains have lost their way of leaves by now. Yeah. And now, they've still got leaves on them. Yes, it is. Yes, yes. service um, I've got a citation to, to read which makes wonderful listening. Uh, Elizabeth II by the grace of God of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and of our other realms and territories Queen Defender of the Faith to the Basingstoke Canal Society working with the community to enhance the canal as a multi-use amenity from, for everyone's benefit. Greeting, we bring cons cognizant of the said group's outstanding voluntary work in the community and being desirous of showing our royal favor 
do hereby confer upon it the Queen's Golden Jubilee Award for voluntary service by groups in the community of 2018 for such period as a group continues to provide its current service and do hereby give permission for the authorised emblem of the said award to be displayed on the group's letterhead and other public material given at our court of St James under our <coughs> royal manual this second day of June 2018 in the 67th year of our reign. So congratulations. Well Thank you, Lord Lieutenant. Um, Your Royal Highness, Lord Lieutenant, councillors, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you here today to celebrate the award to the Society of the Queen's Award for Voluntary Service. In 1966, a small group of enthusiasts met in Brookwood to plan a campaign to save the Basingstoke Canal from dereliction and to restore it as a navigable waterway. At that time, nobody, no one knew how, much, how to rebuild the canal, how long it would take and how much it would cost. And we still don't know, actually. <laughs> um, however, those early pioneers had one very important asset, a passionate commitment to seek to see the task completed. From those early days, a unique partnership was formed between what became the Surrey and Hampshire Canal Society and the two county councils. That partnership has proved to be enormously successful and remains the fundamental basis on which the canal has operated over more than 50 years. For its part, the Canal Society has, through its practical work on the canal, its operation of trip boats, its promotional activities, and its support to the Basingstoke Canal Authority, made a very substantial contribution to safeguarding uh, to the safeguarding and development of the canal. I would not wish to suggest that this huge effort has not given much pleasure to all those involved. Our members have a great passion for the canal, and they wish to see it prosper and develop. On their behalf, I would therefore like to express my sincere thanks um, for this award, which is greatly appreciated by us all. I'm not sure I hope I'm presenting it too, <laughs> but I do know that a lot of people have worked extremely hard to make this project come to life and be successful. Thank so you. Very congratulations. Very well. Thank you. Kevin worked on the canal only as soon as he could get out of his pram. <laughs> <laughs> so you, were, you were here at the very start. Well, well, I first fell in the canal when I was three. <laughs> 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 I had to jump in and fish me out. <laughs> 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 and they're quite rare, these things. Yeah. 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 They're not given away, don't you? So well, uh, I'd just like to say thank you on behalf of, well, the whole of the society, um, everybody who's worked on the canal past and present. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, Thank you. Um, could you, would you like to come through? We've got a small plaque that we want to unveil. Thank you. Yeah. Do you want to wait till people have assembled? Yeah. yeah. Finally, I'd like to um, present you with this, which is um, a brochure that we published when the when we were 50 years old, Ooh. when the canal was 50 years old, and it does have a photograph of you uh, on the John Pinkerton and some of the people you've met there. So uh, I hope you'll uh, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Well,
extraordinary. It reminded me of the work that's been done. Thank yes. you very much for news. That was, that was 25 years ago that I came uh, here. 1991, yes. Uh -huh. It was 27 years ago. Yeah, yeah. yes, it was. Yes. 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 That's our old steam dredger. It was a beautiful uh, vessel that we might have store one day. Yes, I think you should. You've got to volunteer. Yeah, they keep on fighting. Okay, well, thank, thank you, so you much. very much for coming. And, uh, we really appreciate it. <laughs>